Hello everyone, this is me, Mike, and this is the Iron Banner for Kindergartians. Basically, I want to explain to you how the Iron Banner works, where to find it in the first place, and what good it brings. So, to all of you who are familiar with this tower, you can see there's this area right behind the bounty tracker right here. And usually it's closed. There's a door right here in the doorway. Now this door only opens when there's a time limited event. Or to correct myself, it only opened in the past when there has been a time limited event in Destiny. One of those time limited events is the Iron Banner and Lord Saladin, leader of the Iron Banner is right over here. Now he has a pr impressive sigil right there that's on flames with all those wolf's heads going on. And Lord Saladin is the faction leader for the Iron Banner. You gotta talk to him if you wanna do something about it. So let's talk to Lord Saladin. Lord Saladin has a reputation or you have a reputation with the Iron Banner uh, same as with Vanguard the new monarchy, future war cold, or dark orbit. You started with zero reputation and similar to the vanguard faction he has specific bounties for the iron banner. This one is earn 10,000 XP while competing in the iron banner tournament and it gives you iron banner standing rewards experience bonus. This one says defeat 10 guardians with a close quarters melee attack while competing in the Iron Banner. It gives you Iron Banner standings and bonus experience. This one says defeat 10 guardians while without dying while competing in the Iron Banner tournament. Basically same thing as in the Crucible if you would do a 10 kill streak. And as the others it gives you Iron Banner standings and bonus experience. This one says Defeat 20 Guardians with Auto Rifle Headshots while competing in the Iron Banner. Same thing, it gives you Iron Banner standings and bonus experience. The second to last says Earn 5 Headshot Sprees while competing in the Iron Banner. And this one as well gives you Iron Banner standing, bonus and experience bonus. And the last one, but not the least one, says Defeat 10 Guardians with a Machine Gun Headshots while competing in the Iron Banner. And this one as well, as all the others give you bonus Iron Banner standings and bonus experience. So this helps you leveling up your reputation with the Iron Banner faction. And then there's reward items. The Iron Regalia Vest in two different versions. One gives you more ammo for fusion rifles and auto rifles and the other one gives you more ammo for shotgun and scout rifles and it has intellect and strength and intellect and discipline so you can pick and choose whatever you're in, into more. On my hunter it looks kinda like this. This version has a tree on her chest, on the chest piece. It only goes up to 33 light so it's a level 31 um, legendary item and then this one with just slightly different perks looks exactly the same. Then there is the Iron Regalia Sleeves. This one goes up to light 36, so this makes it a level 32 legendary item, which will allow you to go up to level 32 with your Vanguard. And it looks like that, kind of like reps with some wolf's heads on the shoulders. And again, it comes in two different versions with intellect and discipline and intellect and discipline, surprisingly. But this one has increased reload speed for auto rifles and causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown, whereas the other has increased reload speed with scout rifles, which would be my favorite, and causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. So it's a little bit of an opposite. And you need to be Iron Banner rank 4. Uh, in order to acquire this bad boy, it sets you back 9,950 Glimmer. But if you followed my tip on how to store more than 25,000 Glimmer in your vault, 
you should be good to acquiring these right away once you hit Iron Banner rank 4. You'll gain the first rank with 100 Iron Banner experience, by the way. Then we have Radagast's Fury, a uh, level 20 legendary rocket launcher. Takes a little bit of time to load, kind of like the Iron Banner goldenish color. And this one has the perks Tripod, which can hold three shells in the tube. And it has Grenadier. Kills with a Zeppelin, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. Now your perks might differ from this version. And this is kind of the thing also with uh, the whole Iron Banner, but I'll get to that later. And besides the Radigas Fury rocket launcher, there is the Tumor Slash hand cannon. It also has a couple of perks on it. This one comes with crowd control and performance bonus. Looks kind of nice. It has these painted wolf's hats with a tree on it. A kind of like goldenish look. Definitely nice to look at. Now there are more chest pieces, or there are more armor pieces and weapons to the Iron Banner than these ones that are purchasable here. But you have to participate in the Iron Banner in order to get them. You'll get them as bonus rewards at the end of a mission. And then we have the emblem Sigil of the Iron Lords. You'll be able to acquire that at Iron Banner rank 1. So straight away when you hit the first rank, you'll get this uh, emblem. And then there's a million million armor shader, which you can be able to acquire at Iron Banner rank 2. And it sets you back 7,500 glimmer. Then there's the um, rank 3 emblem called Scar of the Radagast. Again, it features the wolf's head and a uh, tree and it's kind of cheaper oh no the emblems are all the same about 2400 glimmer and then we have a cloak for the hunter because i'm a hum hunter currently mantle of gillian and the mantle of gillian features the iconic tree for the iron banner event looks quite nice and then we have the iron banner maximum rank shader which is gold spiral an armor shader and it, on my current equipment it looks kind of like this. Now it's a pity that I can turn my character in this view to show you uh, the cape and how the cape would look with this. This is the million million. Uh, features a goldenish look that the Iron Banner is about. And then we have the last item in here for now it's called tempering. This increases your experience uh, or the rate at which you acquire experience competing in the Iron Banner. Now, one important thing to say is that for every emblem and shader that you equip, you also get a bonus to your experience. I think it's about 10% something per emblem and shader, something like that. Now, if you've already participated in the Iron Banner before, because this is the fourth installment, then you wouldn't be watching this video. But in case you didn't know, if you have acquired an Iron Banner weapon, you can re-roll its perks, called reforging the weapon. There would be a row right beneath the event rewards and the buffs for you to select your currently equipped weapon from that you gained during the Iron Banner event. And for a mode of light, you would be able to reforge its perks, meaning that you give up the version that you have and you acquire the exact same weapon that you gave up but it will have a different set of perks on it, randomly determined. So you can try to find the exact weapon that you're looking for in terms of perks. It always sets you back one mode of light. And that's about it for the Iron Banner. Till we meet again. The interesting part about Iron Banner compared to Crucible, or the one thing that makes Iron Banner that special is, that other than in Crucible, where all the players the and their um, the character stats survive. get averaged out, in Iron Banner, the level difference is significant, or can be significant. Like all the level advantages are Only enabled. That means that a level 20 guardian in the Iron Banner has a hell of a harder time to compete compared to a level 32 guardian. No games.